Okay, so this is Morgan Knight. Morgan Knight was um, there in Hicksville, and he's about to say something very interesting in a couple minutes here. It was three to four in the afternoon. What was Mr. Depp's demeanor when they first arrived? At Trailer Palace, he was super excited about the place, really complimentary, um, just had a lot of questions and um, was, just seemed like he was in a really great mood. And how about Miss Hurd's demeanor? Anything stick out? She was pretty quiet. Um, she uh, just kind of didn't say that much when I was giving them the tour of the grounds and the trailer. And was anyone else with Mr. Depp and Miss Hurd when they first arrived? Uh, there was people that arriving throughout the afternoon. So um, there was, uh, um, I think 10 to 12 people total ended up staying. Uh, the security guard had gotten there earlier and just to check out the place, but, um, but yeah. And did I understand your testimony previously that the entire trailer park was rented out by Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd? Yeah, the whole place slept, I believe at the time, about 25 people, but there was only 10 to 12 in this party. And who was part of that party besides Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd? Um, I'm really horrible with names, but I remember one of them was uh, Miss Hurd's sister and the security guard I mentioned before, but I honestly forgot his name too. What happened when Mr. Depp and Miss Hurd first came onto the property? So um, I gave them a tour of, we give all guests a tour of their specific trailer and the grounds and um, show them around the uh, when someone rents the whole place, they get uh, another trailer called the bar trailer, which is basically a place to set up their alcohol and stuff. And some people in the group were just putting their beverages in that area. And where were you when uh, Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd, did there come a time when Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd went to the bar trailer? Um, I didn't notice most of the time that my interactions with them, everything's kind of centrally located. So there's a fire pit, bar trailer and picnic tables all right in the same area, so they were generally around that area the entire evening that I saw them. And what did you observe of Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd as the evening progressed? Um, so Mr. Depp was super, uh, just super curious and really nice. Um, he was also mm -hmm. really interested in my innkeeper because she was a musician, so they would talk about music a lot. At one point, uh, the innkeeper who lived at the next door property went home and grabbed her guitar and they had um, sung a song or two around the campfire uh, in the early evening. Awesome. Um, awesome. There's another instance where Mr. Depp, the innkeeper, her name is Jenna, and myself were talking about books and music and Miss Hurd came over and kind of interjected. She seemed a little annoyed that um, Mr. Depp wasn't spending time with her. Yeah, that she wasn't the center what of attention. What about Ms. Hurd's demeanor made you think that she was annoyed? Um, I think just generally she, uh, it's hard. Like she, I think, uh, I don't know. It, it was just, it was just like a gut reaction. Like I, I, I can't describe it, but um, Jeez. you know. How long were you with Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd that evening, generally? So throughout the course of the evening, I was probably 40, mostly with Mr. Depp, but 45 minutes to an hour total. Um, so it was, uh, yeah, that's over the whole course until the end of the night after the check-in. Okay. And did you have an opportunity to observe Mr. Depp, Depp interact with other people, guests on the property that evening? Yes, um, I saw him hanging out with his security guard at one point and um, outside of the uh, time that him and Jenna were singing around the campfire, he was off by himself um, a lot of the time and Miss Hurd was over at the, uh, at the um, campfire with her friends and seemed to have a good time. And if you haven't already, can you generally describe for the jury your observations of Miss Hurd that evening? Um, yeah, she was uh, she was 
seemed to be having a really nice time with her friends around the campfire. Um, and yeah, everyone was in a pretty good mood. Did there come a time in the evening goes, that you guys. observed Mr. Depp and Ms. Heard have a disagreement or an argument? Yes. Um, I was speaking with Mr. Depp uh, just one-on-one -on -one, talking about Higgsville and um, Ms. Heard uh, came over and she said that I want to talk to you and seemed really upset about something. So I went and um, back in the house because it was really, um, they went off on their own and they, she started yelling at him and I, I didn't want to hear it. It honestly was really triggering because I've been in a emotionally abusive Objection. relationship before. Oh. Move to strike. What's the objection? You're up for me. We reproach. Okay, sure. Oh, dang. Well, you know, you can't really put that one back. I mean, it is what it is. That's his direct observation. That reminded him of a prior abusive relationship. And what he's just done is identify Amber as the abusive one, not Johnny. Unreal, guys. This is wild. You know, of course, they're, her Amber's team is not going to want to get, they're not going to want that um, in the court record. Mr. Knight, will you please just explain for us what you observed when you saw Mr. Depp and Ms. Heard having an argument? Yes. Um, so, Ms. Heard asked him to go talk. Um, off to the side and she was upset at him and she was yelling at him um, and I personally had been in objection a... all right I'll sustain the objection okay. okay if you could just explain to the jury um, what you observed when you saw Mr. Depp and Ms. Heard having an argument okay um, he was kind of cowering and seemed almost afraid and um it was wow. really like odd to see because he was older than her obviously so um but i just went back in the house because so i didn't objection wanna... to what he did all right i'll sustain us too understood so after you observed the argument fair to say you went back to the tra to your house on site? yes i did yeah um, what happened after that? So when I saw Mr. Depp um, on my next rounds, he apologized profusely and said, I'm really sorry about that. She was upset. Objection, because... Your Honor. Hearsay. Sustain. Next question. Wow. What, if any, type of reaction did Mr. Depp have? He was just Objection, really... Objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. He's going to say it again. It's the reaction. It's not... The statement. All right, if you could make that clear, that's yeah. fine. Just what type of physical reaction did Mr. Depp have after the argument between Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd? He honestly, throughout the rest of the night, became a lot more quiet Aww, and, um, that's and was uh, just very more petulant. In the beginning of the night, he um, was a lot more outgoing and extroverted. And throughout, very as sad. the course of the night went on, he was less and less so and more quiet. Did you observe any of the guests consuming alcohol while on the property? Um, I assume they were. I mean, people had cups and there was alcohol set up in the bar trailer, but I didn't physically see them pour alcohol into their cup and cup go into the mouth, per se. Did you witness Mr. Depp drink any alcohol that evening? I couldn't say. Anything about Mr. Depp's demeanor that made you think he was perhaps intoxicated? Yes, um, as the night went on, he, uh, I am a former bar owner, so I'm, even though I wasn't drinking that night, I'm very familiar with the uh, signs. So um, just as the night went on, like I said, he became more and more quiet, but he also, as we would have conversations, his uh, head would kind of sway a little bit back and forth, oh. which was a little, Did you know, he, have was, to drink he was to much less sharp than he was earlier in the night. Did Ms. Hurd appear intoxicated to you? Um, she did. Uh, she seemed, I think when she was angry at him, it, it seemed like 
she was intoxicated, but that's just based on my experience and my own personal trauma dealing with abuse. Okay. Oh, wow. Objection, you're on a move to strike. All right, I'll sustain the objection. We'll strike it from the record. Please disregard that testimony. Guys. Did you observe anyone do or take drugs? I did not. Wow. Did you witness Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurt interact other than the argument that you previously described for the jury? Um, the, at the end of the night, I heard a commotion. I was inside the house and came out. I couldn't tell what was going on. Um, and Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd were having a discussion about, um, about I, I'm not sure what, but then they went to their trailer. At that point, a lot of people had already gone to bed. So um, it, it just kind of petered out. Everyone went to bed, including myself, and I didn't hear anything else the rest right, of the night. Well, what time did the evening come to an end? I'd say it was almost around 3 a.m. Did you ever see Mr. Depp grab anyone? Yeah. Any leading? Sustained. Mm -hmm. Did you ever see Mr. Depp become physical with anyone? Objection, leading. <laughs> Sustained. Next question. Did you ever witness Mr. Depp get angry that evening? Objection, leading. What? Sustained. <laughs> what, if any? <laughs> what, if anything, happened the next morning? Yeah. She did um, it. The next morning, we have checkout at noon at the time uh, before COVID. That and was amazing. So Camille. Uh, around 11 o'clock, one of my innkeepers let me know that there was some damage. Objection, and, hearsay. <laughs> um, did something happen that caused you to go to Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd's trailer? Yes, I was informed that... Objection, hearsay. It's not being offered for the truth, Your Honor. I mean, it, may we approach on this okay, one topic? Okay, sure. Thank you. <laughs> wow. This is amazing, guys. Absolutely amazing. You know, Elaine, according to Elaine, if you want to get in hearsay statements or anything, all you have to do is say what, if anything, if you want to ask leading questions, if you don't want to have a foundation set up properly, all you have to do is say what, if anything. And that's the magical phrase that allows you to get anything you want in there. What, if anything, happened the next morning, Mr. Knight? Uh, the innkeepers let me know that there was some damage in one of the trailers and it happened to be Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd's trailer. So I wanted to inspect the uh, trailer because I was extremely worried. Um, all those trailers that Steve and I worked on were like my babies and um, the one they were staying in was the only one that was mostly original and restored. 1950s style, and so I was uh, very concerned. So what did you observe when you went to the trailer? I observed that um, there was a light sconce by the bathroom um, in the bedroom that had been broken off the wall and a couple oh pieces were on God. the floor. And they were, um, and yeah, it was basically just broken. The light fixture was hanging on the wall still, mm. and except for the pieces that were on the floor. So disrespectful. Did you come to understand how that happened? Objection. Yeah. Foundation and All right, light. foundation. I'll just say that's the foundation, how you knew. Did you ask how the sconce was broken? Objection, hearsay. Sustained. How often do light fixtures in the trailers break? <laughs> um, they break uh, pretty often. I mean, it's not like a usual thing, but things in the trailers generally get broken because it's all vintage trailers. And um, I would say as much as every couple weeks, there's some incident of damage in one of the trailers. In this case, Mr. Depp had told me that. Objection. Do you say? Objection. Um, so anyway, yes. <laughs> Beyond the light fixture, was anything else in the trailer damaged? No, everything else looked fine. In fact, we have a, a something we call a piggy fee uh, that we address to guests that if there's anything what we call inconsiderate or unusually large messes, we charge them extra for it for a $25 an hour cleaning fee, but they did not receive one of those because everything outside of light fixture looks fine. Hmm. And what was your reaction to seeing the damaged light fixture? 
Um, to be honest, I was relieved because smug. it was not a big deal. I just tucked, Bitch. there was already another light in the room. So I just tucked the wires in the wall until I had a few months later time to um, buy. It was matching sconce with another one in the room. So I had to, on eBay, find a matching pair that would fit there. And uh, when I finally got around to it, I was able to get that and charge it to uh, Nathan, who had, whose credit card I had. And what was your understanding of who Nathan was? Mr. Depp's assistant. Okay. And what did you charge Nathan or Mr. Depp for replacing that, that pair of light fixtures? The pair came out to $62. Look at her smug face. She can't While control it. While you were it. on site, um, Mr. Knight, did you ever wear a mesh shirt? <laughs> no, I would uh, absolutely never wear that. At any time during Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd's stay on the property, did you see Mr. Depp become physical with anyone? Objection I did not. leading. Okay. Overruled. That's fine. I'm sorry, that answer was? Uh, I, I never saw Mr. Depp get physical with anyone when I saw him. Thank you, Your Honor. Right. Cross-examination. Thank you, Your Honor. All right, we'll stop it there. That was amazing, though. Guys, he said he identified Amber as the abuser and said that Johnny was cowering while she was screeching at him. Unbelievable, but not surprising. And did you see her smug little smile there? Like, she could not... She couldn't control, like, that she was reliving that and deriving pleasure from it. Very sick.